Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial brought to you by Louis Art. My name is Emmanuel Okafo and as requested in my last video, you guys wanted to see how you can use the Rigify to rig something else other than a character. So today we'll be using the Rigify to rig a cat. So before we start up, let's make sure our Rigify is enabled. So we go to our preference, add on and search for rig and then we can find Rigify. Then we just want to check on it and we are good to go so before we continue we want to make sure our 3d cursor is placed right in the foot of the characters <laughs> in the, right in the foot of the character and placed right in the middle of the scene and now we can add our rigify so we want to go to add amateur animals and in this instance we want to select cat meta rig and now we want to scale it up to match the cat but we don't it's not advisable to scale it up in the object mode because you're going to mess up the dimension so we want to scale it up in the edit mode and we want to scale it up from this origin point so to do that we can set the scale point to the 3d cursor so that we can scale it up like this so let's do that we'll just scale it up roughly to match the cat and we're good so let's switch the display type to wire and also make sure it's in front so we can see what we're working on and right in the edit mode we want to click on x mirror so that we can just work in one part of the character and it's replicated in the other part so i'm going to speed up the video right now because i don't want you guys to watch me uh, watch the whole process of me just doing it because it takes time and you need to be really precise so that you get a very good result so um, as I said earlier, the X mirror is going to speed up my workflow. Another factor that will help speed up my workflow is using the snap feature and setting it to volume. And this is going to enable me that when I snap it, it's going to make sure it snaps right in the middle of the character. And this is going to help speed it up. So see you in a few minutes. Okay, so I'm done setting it up and it's quite straightforward, but in this instance, I'm not going to work, worry about the face. So this is what we have and now we can go out and apply the rotation and scale. We will try to leave the origin right at the bottom because we want it to generate the rigify from this point too. And now we can select the bone and go into this um, data panel with this guy running here and click on generate rig okay so it has generated a rig um, we have a problem that it's not placed right where we want it that's fine we can just easily match it to place because it's already sculpted in the form of this character so it's going to easily match up with the character so we'll just make sure everything is okay and everything seems good uh, I like to scale it up this head it's, it seems really small so I can go to this bone panel and viewport and I can just scale it up right here can do it for this one too okay so everything is looking great and we can proceed from here so we can apply the rotation and scale and center the origin to geometry and also we can now delete the meta rig bone so i mean you can keep it in case you want to use it later but for this instant i'm going to just delete it and now i will select this character 
and shift select the rig and press ctrl p and set it with automatic weight so this is going to bind our character as best as it can and any other thing will just fix it okay so it has binded the character and we have our cat rig and it did a very nice job for most part we have everything set up the constraint Let's see this guy. So we'll have to fix it, fix this part with weight paint. But most part, it did a very nice job. Um, grab. I think we need to scale this up more. A very nice job okay so let's fix this area at least you can learn how to fix um, your weight paint in case you encounter problems um, the way we do that we we'll go to this layer right here this is the layer that contains everything on the weight paint <coughs> excuse me I can select this rig and shift select the mesh and go into weight paint yeah we will fix it so let's select this head bone or face bone and we'll try to paint out the areas we don't need so we just need it to affect the head area we don't need to affect any other place And then we'll grab the blob brush and just make it have like a very nice transition so it's not very harsh. Okay, so we do it for this one too. And make sure it's not affecting the face. So that should fix it. Okay, that didn't fix it. Um, probably the fault is from this dude right here. So we have to see if we subtract it. If that's gonna help, yeah, so that helps. And we can grab this one and add an influence there. Okay, so everything is looking good so far. Yeah, so that's how you can use the rigify to set up your cut rig. In the description, I'll try to leave. Put you can also download this finished file too. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. And if you wish to see more from me, please hit that subscribe button with enough force. Thank you once more for watching. Bye bye for now. See you next time.